outside in this cold weather. He's been checking out what's going on at this beautiful racetrack in suburban Maryland. They've been racing at Rosecross since 1949. There is a considerable amount of history and tradition at this track, as you might imagine. Most of it can be traced to the Miller family. William Miller, the great horseman, founded this track. The tradition was carried on by his son, John, who was past president here. And the tradition continues with William Miller II, who is the president and general manager of Rosecroft. Bill, it is good to be back here at Rosecroft, and we are on a track that used to be the site of your grandfather's farm. That's right, Kenny. My grandfather raced horses from 1910 until he died in 1953, and this uh, is built on his stock farm. What does it mean to you when you come out here and you look around, you see pictures of your dad, your, your grandfather, and people always talk about the racing millers and the family tradition that carries on here? Well, obviously, it makes me feel good. It also... Uh, makes it my job a lot easier. It's, it's always easy uh, to work with people who've known your, your parents. Any advice passed along down the ages? Any one way to run a track? No, things have changed. When we started racing in 1949, we raced uh, 20 nights. Right now we're racing 145, so um, the sport and, uh, and, and night racing, uh, as far as uh, operationally the plant, has changed quite a bit. And a big night ahead in the Breeders' Crown Series returning again to Rosecroft. We're going to have another great night. We're looking forward to it. The richest racing event in Maryland history and also a chance to decide, in all probability, the divisional championship. That's right. Bill, good seeing you again. Thank you very much. Kevin. Thank you very much. Bill Miller, who is the president and general manager of Rosecroft, the third generation of Miller to run the Rosecroft Raceway. Sharon?